Hello everybody and welcome back to Bunker Simulator. As always, I am Dor, and today we're actually going to have an air raid attack on us. So we need to very quickly get outside and see... I don't think it's begun yet. I think we have a little bit of time to kill. If I open up my watch, how much time do we have? We don't have an indicator on that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our daily mission stuff. That might be what triggers the attack here, but we need to go ahead and do three exercises, and it looks like we're doing jumping jacks today, I guess is what we're doing here. So let me go ahead and do these. Oh, now we're doing up-downs. Okay, cool. We were just doing uh, jumping jacks. Now we're doing these. What are we going to do for the third exercise here? If I could kindly get that to fill up. We are doing push-ups. No, we're not doing push-ups. We're doing up-downs or burpees. We're doing burpees now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burpees. There we go. So let's go ahead and finish this off. And oops, I stopped pressing spacebar. Come on now. There we go. Mission success. Uh, the next mission is... We got to press that button apparently. To destroy the enemy planes. There we go. So let's go ahead and quickly get onto our AA gun here. I'm also going to go ahead and grab a couple... Or actually, no. We might as well just leave it there. We have a plane there. Can we zoom in any with this? We cannot. We apparently have two planes inbound. Can I shoot it right now? Or is that too far out? Might be too far out. And we, we, we didn't start shooting in time. Those things really just crept up on us. I did not expect it to zoom by that quickly. Oops. Are they going to circle back around? Please circle back around. Yeah, they did. They did. They did. Okay. We are missing like crazy. We need to get off of this again. And we need to load it really quick. Get back on. I guess it doesn't end until we destroy these two planes. Maybe is what's happening here. I don't know if they're going to start shooting eventually. Yeah, they are going to start shooting. Okay. So there's one. He kind of just flew straight at us, kind of dumb dumb style. And where is the second one? The second one just spawned in right there. Oh, I guess they're not the same plane. There's a bunch of planes now. Okay, so can we just do this to, like, hopefully land one? There we go. Can we shoot down another one? Yeah, we're out of ammo again, though. Let me go ahead and reload. One of the things that popped up as well told us that we could actually request ammo before an attack kicks off for this or the tank gun I think is what it's also gonna let us do so that's one way of getting ammo I don't know if it's gonna cost us anything is that a plane that's a bird do we have any more I don't see the little icon anymore and it's telling us to go to the next mission so I'm guessing we're done with this that was kinda cool uh, I guess we didn't need that maybe we don't have an air raid the same time we have a on the ground type of attack thing kicking off so that's nice and the next mission here is to go ahead and kill all nine enemies that are attacking so let's go ahead and jump onto our MG and hopefully kill them we are a little damaged to kick things off already because the planes were shooting us a little bit so hopefully we don't take too much damage here I'm trying to see if I can see any of them there's way out there I can kind of see them. I'm not going to even start shooting because I'm pretty sure we can't hit them from that far out. I'm going to try and line this up this time around too. Let's see. Can we shoot you? I do see blood. So that's a good sign, I guess. There's seven people left. They are kind of coming into a little file right there. Down to five out of the nine. Nice. I don't see any more of them. There's still another five of them. Is that a guy right there? I can't tell if that's a person or a tree. I'm trying to see if it's moving. It's not moving at all, so I'm guessing it's a tree. I think that's the rest of the guys right there, though. Pretty sure that's a guy. Let me shoot some rounds that way. Yeah, there's some blood coming off of it. Okay. I think that's one. There's another one right behind him. Let's go ahead and reload. We might honestly want to run to the other MG hole and start using that one. I think that has a better angle on them coming over that hillside than this one does. And it kind of does. There are people in the bunker, so we do need to keep that in mind. Get off of this really quick. Get our gun out and ready to go. We got one right there. Oh. Um. Why can't I shoot? I need to clean my weapon. Oh, that's a thing. I didn't realize I had to do that. Okay. This is bad. This is real bad. Uh, we need to very quickly grab this guy and use that if I can. Oh, I can't use this either. Uh oh, this is real bad. Real bad. Let's swap that out, please. Oh, they broke my radio station. No! So, hopefully we can go ahead and actually defend our bunker this time around. I went ahead and swapped the MG completely. We don't have the other one in our inventory. I went ahead and just got a brand new gun completely. Can I kindly get you before you fly out of zone here? 
Hopefully, nope, I missed, okay. Well, let's go ahead and reload this thing one more time here. We should be able to go ahead and get the next little grouping of planes as they come in here. I say as this guy starts shooting us. Okay, we missed that guy. Can we get the next one? He should be coming right here. So we're going to wait until he turns, and we should be able to go ahead and just light him up because he's going to come right at us here. So... Is there like a massive bullet drop on this thing? I'm guessing there's a lot of bullet drop that I just can't quite tell. Okay, so we can't get him. He's too low, too fast. Can we get the next one? We we're missing a lot here. I think we've already burned through more ammo than the first time we tried that. I think we only used two magazines. This is the third one so far. Or maybe we used three. I don't remember. I hear a plane. I don't see a plane, though. And we don't really whip around that quick, so I don't want to be looking the wrong direction here. But is this guy going to turn and come toward us? Yes, he is. Okay, so let's line this up a little bit and try and aim a little bit over him. There we go. So that's the end of the plane thing again. Let's go ahead and run on over to the MG nest before we go ahead and trigger the next mission, because then it's going to start these guys running at us. And actually, before we do that, I... Oh, well, no, we're good. Yeah, we, we should be fine. Let's go ahead and trigger the next little mission here. And now we just got to wait until they come over this hillside again, which should be any minute now. And then we can go ahead and hopefully get them. I'm going to actually stay on this MG until it tells us to, to leave it or somebody's in the bunker. I'm not going to run over to the other one because I, I still couldn't really see them. They already, like, cleared the distance to get in the bunker before I even got on the other MG, so it's not really worth doing that since the door's right here anyways. But here we go. They are close enough now, so we should be able to go ahead and start opening fire. We killed one. Uh, can we hit that guy? We're at 11 out of 12. We are getting shot a little bit by that guy there. Please stop. We're almost dead. Can we get that guy too? No. Okay, hold on. Let's let's heal up really quick before we, we take too much damage. And then we should... Oops, I pressed the wrong button. We should be able to do this, get back on it, and start shooting the people at the door. That's good. Can we get that guy too? Cool. There's one more person right here shooting from the side. Not quite sure where he's at exactly. Can we get you to stop shooting us, please? Thank you. There's a guy right... Oh, there he is, right there. I th think? Or is that guy already dead? That might have been a dead guy already. I guess we'll see if we start getting shot from the side again. We haven't had the alarm go off that anybody's in here just yet, so we should be fine. I think I see one more right there-ish, kinda, walking in the distance there. We gotta wait until they get a little closer, though. Oh, there's one right in the bunker with us. There we go. Or the uh, trench, not the bunker. But there's that guy dealt with. Is that a guy, too? Uh, no, okay, that's the uh, tree stumpers. Oh, that's a leaf that just rendered in. Okay, never mind. We got another one in the trench. There's him dealt with. We got one up on the hillside. If I could aim a little bit better, that would be fantastic. We got to reload again. Let's do that now. And let's go ahead and hopefully take out the other two that are right there. There's two on the hill. There's two dead. How are we looking? We are bleeding. Let's go ahead and heal really quick. We have two more people to deal with, so we should be good here. Let's also pop another one of these pills to go ahead and get more of our health back. We have a ton of meds, so I'm not too worried about burning it. And where is this guy at? I don't... There's one there. Okay. The shot sounds like it's coming from the left side here. I hear him reloading. Is he in the bunker with us? Like, <laughs> where is this guy at? Oh, he's laying down in the body. Oh, you sneaky, sneaky. And it also tells me I have to re or clean this one. This is a fresh one that I had on a wall. This isn't the same, M or the same uh, assault rifle that I had a second ago. That's weird. I guess it just wants me to clean a gun in general. So let's run over to our armory and do that really quick before we trigger the next mission, just in case it's more fighting. I don't want to accidentally get um, get get this thing to not work again. So let me clear the weapon here. So we do that, we do that, we do that. Weapon has to be cleared. It is cleared. I just cleared it. 
Oh, I should really learn to read because that says the weapon has been cleared, not that it has to be cleared. Okay, well, that's uh, that's great for me. I stood here trying to put the gun on the table for the last few minutes here. Smooth move. Let me go ahead and reload. We only have 25 rounds for some reason. I could have sworn we had more of these blue boxes, so I don't know where they went. Uh, I put them all right on the shelves, and they're not here anymore. I must have used them all, apparently. But uh, we can also stack the little ammo boxes. So last episode, we had like a little row of them going over and over again. But if you grab them all in your inventory in one go, eh, they all stack into a big box of like however many bullets you have. So it's kind of nice. We have a bunch of that stuff going now. Let us go ahead and trigger the next mission. What do we have? We have to go ahead and place four sandbags in a defense or on the defensive. Place sandbags on, yeah, defensive, okay. So let's just go ahead and use the ones right here by the window. And we need to go ahead and pick a project. We are going to go ahead and go with a, let's see, let's do a wall, just a straight wall here. And we'll do a short little 12 one by three. Actually, that's really short, isn't it? What would this be used for? Can you crawl in this game? You can't crawl in it. That's really, really low. Can I shove this in the windowsill? Give us more protection? No. Okay. Uh, yeah, whatever, it's fine. We'll just go ahead and use this one nonetheless. Let's go ahead and place it there. And we can go ahead and start dumping some sandbags in it. We don't need that many, right? I would think it just said four, so that's nice. We can go ahead and just do this. And this should complete that mission. There we go. And that's our daily stuff done. So we don't have any more daily missions. What we can go ahead and do is loot up all the people that we just killed. We can go ahead and hide their bodies as well. And then if I manage to go ahead and do this quick enough, I'm going to go ahead and loot the back buildings behind our bunker. If we can even go that far backwards, I'm not sure if we can or if it's a enemy area that's going to tell us we can't go any further. But I guess we'll see in a second. Let me take that. So I went ahead and finished sorting all of the stuff here. So I'm working my way back to these buildings. I haven't been hit with the uh, you're going too far thing yet, but we do have a river and I don't know if it's going to let me walk over this. If it does, cool. If not, then we know. And it is indeed going to let us go through it. Okay, cool. So we have a bunch of buildings back here. That's uh, like a little town back here. That's kind of cool. So we do actually get an alert over here that there's an enemy sniper. So we're not getting that there's landmines here, but we are getting an alert that there's an enemy sniper. I'm kind of seeing if I can see him in one of these windows. We might be able to kill him and just loot. I'm not too sure... Can I see anything off in the distance there? There is another tower. There's another building over there. That's, I think, where the enemies come out of. I think. Can we go this way, Any? No, we still get hit with this warning. Okay. Well, I don't know if that's going to be an instant kill or if we can run in the buildings and hide from them or not. I don't really want to risk it because if we die right now, we're going to have to do the whole little air raid defense thing again. So let me go ahead and run back to the base. I'm trying to see if there's any crates or anything I can even see. It doesn't look like there is. It just looks like there's buildings here, basically. I don't know if there even is anything here for us to loot. But yeah, let me go ahead and run back to the base. I'm going to go ahead and continue unloading that little room over the rubble before we have to go to bed here in a little bit. I think I have to go ahead and send the message as well. I haven't done that yet, but let me go ahead and send the message. Unload a little bit of the rubble, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and see what tomorrow's missions hold. So we didn't make that big of a dent in the uh, clean-out of that little room over there, but we do have access to the medical bag thing that was on the ground that we couldn't get to last episode. So we should be able to go ahead and get to it now. We need to go ahead and finish putting in the code for today. What is a single dot? We got E. Is that correct? Hopefully it is indeed sweet. Okay, so we have tiger tanks coming in, so we need to go ahead and get ready for that. Oh, wait, no, they arrived in Normandy. Okay, so we don't have the tanks attacking us just yet, but they should be coming any day now. We also have a delivery incoming, so we go ahead and get our supply box from them. Hopefully that's nice. But anyways, before we go ahead and do that really quickly, let's go ahead and see what's in this medical bag. So if we open this thing up, we have a bunch of band-aids and stuff in there as well. Okay, cool. So it's like a full-on first aid kit. It's got morphine, it looks like. It's got two band-aids, two of the... Uh, uh, the pill pegs and I guess something else too. I can't remember what that is. Morphine and something else. I don't remember what it is exactly, but let's go ahead and take that with us. We can go ahead and drop that off somewhere. We need to go ahead and grab our 
supply box here. So let's go ahead and drop that medical thing here for right now. We'll go ahead and maybe put that in our supply room later. But for right now, we can go ahead and hang out there. Let me go ahead and run on outside. We need to go ahead and grab our box here. It looks like it's coming with a different way today as well. Because it normally comes back that way by that van. Or the, the, the blown up tank and stuff. But this time it's over here. And how far out is this going to be? We have a thing of logs right here. Can we loot this log pile and use this as our lumber thing? No, we can't use that at all. Okay. So we need to take this little dirt road. It's not that little box. We've looted that twice now and there's only been stuff in it once. Do we get a buddy? Are one of these guys going to stay with us? Entering an enemy minefield. Okay. Well, we had to come over here anyways. Give orders. Give the order. Follow me to return to the bunker together. Ooh. That's cool. Okay. So this guy's blasting some music in his car. Nope, I didn't want to give him my gun. Oh, wait. Where did my other gun go? Hold on. I don't know where my other gun went, but I think we just swapped him for his carbine and we gave him the STG that we had. Okay, well, can we get it back? Yeah, there we go. Cool. Okay, so let me get that back, please. Or actually, you know what? No, let me go ahead and give him this because we don't have any of those carbines yet. We have we have some other semi-auto guns, but we don't have this thing yet. So this could come in handy, I guess. Get a new new gun for ourselves. We also need to go ahead and tell him to go back to base. So we need to do that. And we need to... Let's see. Where is return to base? We don't have a return to base. We just have a follow me. So let's do that. Oh, we need to do that. Never mind. There we go. And let's also go ahead and loot the stuff that we got for our supply run. So we got a bunch of ammo over here. We also got a repair kit. So that's going to come in handy when we do need those. And we got a ton of food over here. That's pretty good as well. We got a rocket launcher ammo thing as well. How many of these were potatoes? We got two potatoes and we got three potatoes. Okay, so we got one big meal worth of potatoes there if we want to go ahead and make one big meal. That's pretty nice. And I don't really want to go any further, to be honest. I don't want to blow up. Where did our buddy go? Did he already run back to base? I'm guessing. Yeah, he's right there in front of us. Okay, so he's almost back. Got nothing in that box, as always. Let's also go ahead and trigger the next mission here. So, let's see. We need to go ahead and chop some wood. That's pretty simple. We can go ahead and do that really, really quickly here. Let's go ahead and run on over here. We got our little tree stumps and we can take that, drop it over there. We can go ahead and pull out our axe and chop up some lumber here. I wonder what that guy's going to do now. Is he going to be consuming our food and supplies or is he just going to hang out and not use our stuff? I have no idea what this guy's going to do. Okay, so the next mission is we need to go ahead and heal. I feel like this game just looped back to the beginning of the tutorial thing. I feel like that's what we did. We cut lumber and then we healed ourselves. Are we good? No, it wants us at 100% health. Okay, let me just waste a band-aid on that. I'm not going to... Oh, actually, let's just use one of these. We have a ton of these. We might as well use one of these guys. That's going to get us the full. Okay, so we actually have to care for this guy as well. He can go ahead and heal himself. We have to give him band-aids when he gets hurt. So I guess maybe the waves of enemies will get bigger eventually and that's why we have a secondary person here with us let's see what the next mission here is we need to go ahead and make some coffee so is he injured right now can i see his stats he is at full health so he should be fine he does have to eat he has to take and use use weapons heal okay Okay, so he has a grenade on him, he has a pistol, he has the STG that we just gave him, and he also has a band-aid. So we don't have to actually give him a band-aid just yet. But let's go ahead and make some coffee. Do I have coffee in there already? I do not. We need to take this guy and pour some coffee out. So there we go. We need water boiling, so we need to go ahead and do this, and that should do the trick. We could also go ahead and eat. I think I have one of the meals in here. I forget which one it was. It was like two potatoes... And some onions. Was it... I think it was this one. The bean soup. I think is what's in the pot at the moment. But we have enough potatoes now to kind of make any of these that we want. We have... Oh, we, we have an inventory full of stuff as well. I gotta sort all that out. But let's go ahead and make our coffee here. We only have enough water for one thing of coffee, unfortunately. I didn't realize my kettle was empty. Let's go ahead and fill that back up. And we should be able to get this to boil again before we run out of heat. 
So yeah, while that's while that's heating up again, I'm gonna go ahead and sort our food out here. So we got three potatoes, and we can go ahead and just put them back on the shelving. Oh, it's a different type of can. Okay, so it's potatoes, but it's not the green label potatoes. Those are the green label potatoes. So we stacked them on their own there. Okay. So we got some other canned goods here. I don't know what they were. What were they? We got salmon, we got beans, we got corn, and we got more salmon. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do this. If it stacks, it stacks. And we can go ahead and just place them here. Okay, it doesn't stack. Weren't two of these cans salmon? Do I have both salmon cans in my inventory right now? They're not stacking. We got beans and corn. How did this not stack with the other one? They were both salmon cans, were they not? Salmon. You go there. Right there. Oh, there we go. It did go back there. Okay, cool. So this can go here, and the last can can go on the top shelf there. That's fine. Let me go ahead and make our last cup of coffee that we need to go ahead and do. I'm also going to make that third one just in case. And let's see what the next little mission is going to be. Actually, yeah, we should be fine. Let's go ahead and see what the next mission is going to be. We need to go ahead and cook a meal with beans. And the cookbook is not required. Does this not count? We're going to burn food again. I don't want to do that. Let me go ahead and use the beans that we just got, right? This guy here. We can go ahead and plop that in that can, or that pan, not that can. And let's see. What do we want to mix with it? We have a ton of apples. Is it going to let me throw an apple in a in a cook pot thing with it? It's going to... No, it's not going to let me do that. Okay. Kind of makes sense. Let's go ahead and throw an onion in there. We got beans, we got onions, let's throw, uh, we have a bunch of sausage in cans, right? One of these guys, that's pork and beans, we got ham lard, stew, we had sausage, I swear we had sausage, here we go. So let's take one of the cans of sausage, because we have four normal sausages over there. That's going to go ahead, that looks, that looks disgusting. Uh, let's plop that there, let's go ahead and heat this up again, we don't have any lumber in there, there we go. And let's go ahead and cook it. We should hopefully complete this little mission off of this. I don't see why we wouldn't. It has beans in it, so we should be fine. And it actually let us stir the meal that time, so it didn't burn it. I'm guessing maybe because the door was open, we couldn't quite get the angle on the pan last time. And that's why it burned the meal. So we can apparently give this guy orders to go ahead and do missions around the base for us. So can I currently get this guy on lumber duty? Just because we have a bunch of logs out there. So, can I... Let's see. Wait for a command at ease. What if I go to the lumber little thing and look at it? Maybe I can trigger it from there? Maybe? Maybe we can even get him to build our stuff for us and we don't have to deal with that. That would be kind of nice. Maybe we actually have to give him the hatchet as well. Because we don't have any different options looking at the thing. And the little tooltip there did say we had to give him tools if we wanted him to do certain stuff. So can I give you this? Or is it not gonna let me do that? Let me get that ready. Can I give it to you? I can't. Maybe through this one? Give, is there anything that says give? I don't see anything that says give. Take or use, let's see if that works. Oh, there we go, chop some wood. Light the stove, take a box, build fortifications, go to sleep, do physical exercise, take out the rubble. Ooh, we can have him do that? Oh, go take out the rubble for us, bud. Oh, yeah, look at that. He's just going to automatically do it. So we can have this emptying while we're doing our other daily stuff, and we don't have to constantly do that. Where is he taking that? We can just drop it on the floor, bud. It's fine. We can go ahead and drop this back on the ground. We don't need that hatchet anymore, and he probably needs it when he does get over here to go ahead and do the job. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so we don't have any enemies incoming. We are done with our daily mission stuff. We gathered our package for the day. Let me go ahead and send the mission back to headquarters here and tell them uh, to drop us something cool, I guess, on the next airdrop. And then we will probably go ahead and start doing some other stuff around the base here. So now that we have a person in here with us, it makes sense why we can go ahead and request different tools. So you probably need these things here for them to actually do those jobs. And that's probably why you can get them. So let's go ahead and get another thing of potatoes. Because, I mean, potatoes are the best thing at the moment. Those go in every meal in that book. So we're going to do potatoes yet again. 
And I think that's it for the day that we need to do. That's the last little mission thing. We should be good to go ahead and do what we want now. So while this guy's unloading that room, we can go ahead and drop the ammo that we went ahead and picked up to the locations where it's going to be used at. So we have another AA gun round. Let's go ahead and drop that over here with the AA gun. We have, let's see, do we have anything else? We have a rocket launcher, we have a bunch, oh, we have another AA gun. Let me drop that here as well, so that can go ahead and hang out. We have a ton of that ammo. Last episode, I said that we had spent shells in our inventory. I didn't realize it, but it was actually the rounds for the tank gun over here. So, uh, in our inventory, it kind of looked like the, uh, the front of the round here was bent. Like, it was kind of squished in. So if we go ahead and look, it kind of looked like a like a like a spent shell that was like smashed in on the end. That's why I thought it was a spent shell. I didn't realize it was an actual round that we had in our inventory. So we have a bunch of ammo for this thing as well. It's also pointing in a different direction now. I don't know why. Can I move this thing like fully? Oh, I actually can. I can turn the whole thing. I thought I could only aim with it left and right. I didn't realize I can rotate the entire thing. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Can I shoot that building over there? I'm pretty sure that's an enemy building. Can I do this really quick? Just like that. And did it do anything? It didn't do anything. Okay, well, I mean, now we know at least. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue dropping off our ammo here. So we have another repair kit that we can drop off. Probably not in here because we don't have the room for it. Let's just drop it over here then on the bench. There we go. And the other stuff can go in here as well. I'm not quite sure where some of this stuff should go because we don't really have the room for a lot of it anymore. I'm going to actually take the rocket launcher and load it with a round. And then I'm also going to grab that one and load it with a round as well just to kind of clear some space here. Oh, this one's actually loaded already. I wonder if these count as individual rockets or if it's the same rocket thing because it's 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 loaded even though I didn't load it yet. Maybe we got lucky and had one that was loaded already. I'm not sure. But the rest of this ammo can go ahead and just hang out. I'm going to grab all the ammo off the shelf and just replace it down because we are going to double up on on boxes here for no reason. So let's go ahead and fix that really quick. All right, cool. That's all the ammo done. I'm going to go ahead and take the mines as well that we have. We have, let's see, we have three vehicles and one anti-personnel uh, mine. So let's go ahead and place those down as well. I don't actually see the, uh, the mine placement thing with my shovel out. Am I not supposed to have my shovel out? I thought I had to have it out to see the little plantable area. And I still don't see it. This is where we planted them last time. Where's my... Uh my plantable area. Can we just plant them wherever we want now? Is that a thing we can do? Create a project? Is that what we need to do? Oh, there we go. Okay. So yeah, we can plant mines wherever now, I guess. So we seem to have them coming over this ridge line over and over again. So let's go ahead and place one right here if I could get it to place. So let's go ahead and dig this up if I can. Can I not dig this up? Uh, let's see. Cancel thing. Dig this up, please. There we go. Okay. And now we can go ahead and... Oh, nope. I, I just covered it right back up. I didn't place a mine there. Let's go ahead and place the anti-personnel mine right here. Right there. There we go. Let's go ahead and activate it. Did I trigger it? No, I need to hold it. Okay, I don't want to blow myself up. That would be real bad. There we go. Okay, so it's triggered. Let's go ahead and cover this back up carefully there we go okay so there's an anti-personnel mine i don't see the thing over here like there's even mines there anymore so maybe they're not there i'm almost certain they never blew up because they never they never blew up i never saw an explosion never heard an explosion so i'm not sure what happened with them let's go ahead and place a vehicle mine here so one there we'll go ahead and place one over here right about there ish and we have a third one. I'm not sure where we're going to go ahead and put it, but we'll put it somewhere eventually. So do we have to activate this thing too? We do indeed. Okay. So there's one vehicle mine just about triggered or armed, I guess, not triggered. There we go. Level one. We got a skill of something. So let's go ahead and cover this back up. Oh. There we go. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and dig out the other one. I think I'm going to put the third landmine 
probably on that road over there, the road that the uh, supply truck came down to begin with. So can I dig this out? There we go. Let's go ahead and place the other mine right there. And let's tr or arm this one as well. And there we go. I went ahead and placed the last mine right here. Does it show me only if I have the shovel out? It does show me. Okay, so we have the mine right there where the truck came through last time. So hopefully that gets the first car. And then the second car can go ahead and get killed over there. And the third one can get killed a little bit further. And if it goes any further than that, we can go ahead and shoot it with the tank gun if we need to go ahead and do that. But this guy over here is making a nice little pile of rubble, so that's kind of good. Let's go ahead and see how much of a, a difference this guy's made in this room. Can we interact with anything else? No, these are still the same little boxes and stuff we had access to. There is the dead guy in here that, uh, that blew himself up in the beginning of the game here, so eventually we will be able to loot him. And it doesn't look like there's a room or anything back there. We just might have more crates and stuff in this area for us to go ahead and loot. Maybe some more medical bags and stuff as well. Do we need to have this guy go to bed? We might need to go ahead and have him go to bed eventually, but I don't think we need to do that just yet. But I think for right now, that's going to go ahead and be it for today's episode. So hope you guys enjoyed as always, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.